The Detroit Lions are going to the playoffs for the first time in over seven or eight seasons. I believe it was 2016, the last time we were in the playoffs, and we didn't really have a chance. That was during the Legion of Boom days with the Seattle Seahawks, and we lost 28-6. to And that is the last time that we were in the playoffs. All of that is going to change this year as the Lions are not only going to make the playoffs, they are going to win the division for the first time ever in the NFC North and also host Ford Field's first playoff game ever try to say that three times fast but with that being said the Detroit Lions have a bottom tier over their defense is I just saw a stat that they're better than the Philadelphia Eagles in certain stats and I think that while that may be true the Detroit Lions lack some legit playmakers on the defensive line But we're not talking about the defensive line today. We're talking about an area that Brad Holmes did not neglect during free agency and the draft, and that is the Detroit Lions secondary, getting Emmanuel Mosley, Cam Sutton, C.J. Gardner-Johnson all in free agency, and then Brian Branch in the NFL draft. And C.J. Gardner-Johnson, C.D. Deuce, whichever one it is, has been hinting at his return from the very beginning. Now, when he first got hurt, he said he'd be back for the playoffs. Then a couple months later, a couple weeks later, he's like, I'm coming back in December. Then after we beat the Bears two weeks ago, and he's ragging on Justin Fields, doing his little shimmy shake after he thought they had won the game. He said that he was going to be back in a few weeks, pretty much the next time we played him. Well, that time is coming up this Sunday, and which will be the 10th. He will not be back. But he's been hinting to his return. And Dan Campbell said after that video emerged that he didn't know what C.J. Gardner-Johnson was talking about. But C.J. Gardner-Johnson just will not stop Uh, with this whole teasing thing. And I think now, officially, that I have to start buying into it, even though Dan Campbell has not has not said anything about it. I'm sure he'll be asked about it very soon. Now, this came out from CJ Gardner Johnson's. This is from his Instagram account. Check this out. CJ Gardner Johnson. Time is ticking. Then he's going to erase that. Real dramatic, too, by the way. (laughs) Shout out to CJ for the drama, man, because this is awesome. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the love. I don't know why I read that as he was typing it. So then he's going to delete that. December 20th which is a date that he's alluded to, ellipses. <laughs> he's alluded to that date for quite some time. He's never wavered off. When he mentioned December 20th, he's never gotten off that. And then his final one is be prepared. And that's how that ends. So C.J. Gardner-Johnson, again, has been teasing his return to the Detroit Lions and what would be usually a season ending injury. But you know what? If I take us back to training camp and I think back to training camp, it's no surprise that CJ Gardner Johnson is probably going to make a return this year. Remember in training camp, it was a came out from training camp that, or I think it was either training camp or mini camp. I think it was mini camp. It was like OTAs because it was before the public could go that he had, received a season-ending leg injury. And then a couple days later, it came out, it wasn't that bad. But we thought it was over. People were making videos about it. I just happened to be one of the ones that was late to the party. So by the time I made a video about it, the news, so I take that back a couple hours later, it come out that it was not that serious. So then he goes in game number two, he tears his pectoral muscle, finishes the game. Dan Campbell mentioned the other day, I want to say it was in yesterday's press press conference because he doesn't get in front of the media on Thursdays he said in yesterday's press conference that CJ tore it early in the game and he finished the whole thing with a torn pectoral muscle that that dude is a warrior right so December 20th before I made a video about a week ago he teased December 20 and he put a line there and this time it was December 20th ellipses be prepared meaning my guess is that he is going to come back now what does come back mean Well, he has not been lifted from the injured reserve. And as far as I know, the Detroit Lions have five or six spots left. And we also have to 
probably bring back, we're going to bring back James Houston, and we just play somebody on IR, uh, Aleem McNeil. So that'll be three people, including James Houston, um, Aleem McNeil, and C.J. Gardner-Johnson. So my guess is Wednesday begins the new league week, and Wednesday, which is less than two weeks away, he is going to come off of the list, maybe, because once you come, once you're elevated, right, your 21 day window opens, you can practice again. So I think that is the day that CJ Gardner Johnson's 21 day window will open, or if if it opens before that, that he'll be back to practice that day. That's what I think, which will mean that he will have three games to play and get acclimated again to the team if indeed they put him in. But even if they don't, He'll have those three weeks will essentially be those three games. Maybe he sees some action in the final game of the season, or maybe C.J. Gardner-Johnson returns to Ford Field for the first ever playoff game. That'll be kind of a, a nice little bookend. He got hurt at Ford Field. The, his first time playing at Ford Field, uh, he got hurt. Because remember, he didn't play during the regular season. So his first time playing at Ford Field, he got hurt. And how fitting would it be for his First playoff game, Ford Field's first ever playoff game, he returns. So C.J. Gardner-Johnson looks like he is officially going to return in the next few weeks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And what does what do you think this means for Brian Branch? I know a lot of you are saying move Branch to corner, but I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know if that is going to work. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.